Hey everybody, Colby here. So in this video, I'm gonna to introduce to you two of the brand new Gen 3 accessories that Starlink is offering. So these are actually the first two uh, brand new accessories that have launched for Gen 3 since its initial release in December of 2023. So today I'm gonna to unbox both of these and show you what they're all about, explain all the details of these uh, new accessories explain what they're used for, what they cost, all that good stuff. So let's start first with the router mount, the Gen 3 router mount. So we'll do a quick unboxing here. Uh, typical Starlink packaging, the gray box with the you know, Starlink logo and a graphic of what the actual product is. And right out of the box here you have the mount, pretty minimalistic packaging. The only thing in here is the mount itself. You have a little instruction card that shows you how to install this. And it looks like there's various ways that you can actually mount this. Yeah, one for each side. So I'll, I'll go through that here in a minute. And then you have this little hardware kit. So it looks like in here is going to be a couple of screws and a couple of, looks like drywall anchors. So I'll get that Get that out here in a moment. Let me just first talk about the mount. Uh, nothing else really in the box, just this cardboard divider. So we'll set this aside and get into the actual product here itself. So this is the Gen 3 router mount. It is $25. You can access it through the Starlink shop on their website. It's shop.starlink.com. So like, any, like anywhere else, you would buy a Starlink accessory. Um, buy this directly from Starlink, it's 25 bucks. The listings you see on Amazon and whatnot are from third party, basically unauthorized resellers. So get it directly from Starlink. If you're going to the shop and you can't see Gen 3 accessories and you're wondering why, all you have to do is click that little link on the left sidebar area where it says, not your Starlink, click here. If you do that, it'll show you all of the Starlink models that are available you can purchase and view Starlink accessories for any model. You don't have to own it to be able to buy it and view it. So if you're curious, curious go to shop.starlink.com and check this, this router mount out. Pretty comparable to third-party alternatives that were showing up for like the Gen 2 router mount. So uh, I'm pretty proud of Starlink for that, for offering at a decent price. All the Gen 3 accessories really have been a decent price. So just quickly looking at it here for a second, I can see that there's there's two screw holes, two sets of screw holes. So you have two right here on the back, like this is how the router mount is supposed to be set up. And then you also have two here on the bottom. So it looks like Starlink is getting giving you two ways to be able to mount this. So if you're trying to mount this to like um, a cabinet wall of your RV or maybe on your basement wall in a utility room, you can mount it vertically just like that to your wall with these two screw holes. If instead you want to mount it to, heck, I don't know, the top of a shelf or the top of a cabinet or something like that in your RV, that way it doesn't, that way it's secured, it doesn't go anywhere while you're driving down the road, you can use these two screw holes on the bottom to mount it like that. Okay, so they give you some options. It makes it very flexible. And actually using the product is very simple. So I'll just show you here. I've got a Gen 3 router. It really just sits in, from the bottom here and then snaps in place. You heard that nice solid feedback of that snap. So now it's it's not going anywhere. It's not sliding around. I'm trying to move it. I can't do anything with it. And to release it, all you have to do is pull up on this top tab. Now it's free again. So pretty cool stuff. Um, hardware that actually comes with it. We're going to have a couple screws and a couple of drywall anchors. So you'll be able to, out of the box, mount this to wood or drywall. If you're interested in going into concrete or other types of masonry, you'll probably need to go and get a special screw or a special drill bit. You might be able to use these plastic tabs in concrete or masonry. I, I wouldn't trust it. I'd just go to Go to your hardware store and buy something that's designed to anchor into concrete or brick. So it's pretty cool that they include the screws and the drywall anchors. Most people are going to be going into those two surfaces. So 
and the instruction sheet basically just telling you what I did. You can mount it via one of the two screw sets and then you just snap the router in place. So let's go on to the power supply mount next. Okay, this is the Gen 3 power supply mount. Just like with the router mount, comes with a little instruction sheet. Pretty basic information, not really necessary. And here's the mount itself. That was kind of, kind of dirty. I don't know if that's from shipping or what, but just had some dust on it. No big deal there. And then just like with the router mount, you also have the hardware, which includes two screws and two drywall anchors and nothing else in the box. So we'll set that aside and look at the mount itself. So just like the concept with the router mount, pretty simple. You can mount it in two ways, even though it has one set of screw holes this time, you can mount it to a flat surface like so, or you can mount it to a wall like so. Doesn't matter with the power supply, which orientation it sits. So you have, like I said, those two screws that you could use to secure it into wood or drywall with those drywall linkers. And then as far as how it actually works, It's like, okay, so this is, this is the bottom because it's got that padding on it. And it doesn't look like it matters which way as far as this, how the router, how the power supply points. So you just kind of set it in and then snaps in place. You heard that nice audible feedback. I like to hear that in products, just lets you know that you've done it the right way. It feels solid when it, you know, really clicks like that. And like before with the router mount, this power supply is not going anywhere. So you can safely put this in your RV or overlanding rig or whatever you have. And you will know that the router is not going to be going anywhere as you're traveling along. And just like with the router mount, press the tab in, pull it out, just like that. Pretty easy, pretty easy stuff there. And real quick, I just realized I forgot to mention on your router mount, you have a whole cutout here where all of your cords go to. So when that fits in, uh, it's got enough space in the back that all of your cords, even the ones on the side here, can come out the back or bottom. So it doesn't, you can mount it either way and you still have enough room for your cords to have clearance. So let's set that here. Let's set this one here. So this actually, this is really cool uh, because this shows us that Starlink is pretty happy with the Gen 3 model overall. The fact that they're deciding to release and invest in development of new accessories. And I'm especially excited for these two because they listen to their customers. So people want to be able to mount their power supplies and routers in different ways, especially if you're like camping and you're in the, in the RV community. If you're mounting this stuff in a vehicle, you kind of want it out of the way. Uh, you want it secured as well. So these are, these mounts are very popular, are gonna be very popular, I think, with that kind of crowd. And you saw that with the Gen 2 router actually too. You, uh, you could see on, you know, Amazon and eBay, third party companies were making wall mounts for those routers. And actually, I don't know if you knew this or not, but Starlink actually themselves produced a Gen 2 router wall mount and a power supply mount. I have one of them right here. So this is the um, OEM Starlink router wall mount that came with the high performance kit. So if you got the high performance dish or the flat high performance dish, this actually came in the kit itself. This is what it looks like. I don't know why they didn't make this available for the, you know, standard actuated Gen 2 kit, like the regular rectangular dish. You couldn't buy this in the shop. So you had to get the uh, high performance kits in order to get this. But this is, this was really nice because it just allowed you to snap in place. You could mount it up against a wall. Um, this was really good for, for overlanding rate. And that's why you saw that pop up on so many, you know, third party marketplaces because third-party companies realize there's demand for it. So it looks like Starlink has taken note 
and has made it themselves for the Gen 3 version. And another interesting little piece of Starlink uh, trivia, history, whatever you want to call it. So this is the high performance power supply that you get with the high performance dishes. They also included a wall mount for that. If I can get it separated here. So this is what that high performance wall mount looks like. Again, you can only get it if you ordered the actual high performance kit, which is 2,500 bucks. So not a lot of people did. But kind of a really cool thing is this is where actually Starlink has hidden one of their Easter eggs. So if you're not familiar, Easter egg is like something that the designers put into their products. You know, it can be on software or hardware like this. And it's just a fun little kind of hidden feature, hidden, hidden thing, if you will. Uh, and this is actually one of them. So I don't know if this is going to pick up or focus, but printed on the back of this high performance power supply mount is a little image of a round dish, the Gen 1 dish, with a little cat sitting on top of it. So if you're not familiar with that, I don't know if this is going to focus or not. If you're not familiar with this, this was a popular meme that circulated early on uh, in Starlink's history when people had the round dishes. There was a picture that floated around with cats that were sitting on top of it while it was snowing because the dish kind of heats up. So they were enjoying a nice little little warm spot there and that circulated through Starlink and apparently they liked it enough to include that as an Easter egg. So pretty cool stuff. Um, let's see what else did I have for you here? So that's really just about it. So 25 bucks each for each one of these amounts. I actually bought them for my own personal use. I'm going to use these in my travel trailer myself. So it's a small little Scamp 13 foot RV travel trailer. And I'm going to be able to mount my Gen 3 power supply and router in a way that's kind of tucked up out of the way in a, like a utility cabinet area. So pretty excited to get the RV out of storage and get these installed. And I'll probably do a whole video on how I'm actually running Starlink in that travel trailer. So stay tuned for that. Um, but that's it for this video. Just uh, showing you guys these new Gen 3 accessories. Let me know what you think. Or is this something that you're interested in? And also let me know in the comments, what other accessories would you like Starlink to come out with? What are you looking forward to? I know on the top of my list is definitely that DC power adapter to be able to run the Gen 3 Starlink disc directly off battery or a portable power station, things like that. So let me know in the comments below what you think of these products, what you think Starlink should release next, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.